from birth until 13. Um, my life was pretty chaotic. It uh, was full of divorce, a lot of sexual, physical, emotional abuse. Um, and it, uh, it took a toll on me as a young, as a young person. Um, at five, at the age of five, my, uh, one of my family members introduced me to alcohol and drugs. And at that age, even though it wasn't a regular basis usage, it, uh, I learned that you could cover up the feelings that you were feeling um, at a uh, very early age. And uh, when I turned 13, my mother had rededicated her life and found the man of her life, uh, my dad, who I call my dad. He wasn't my, my real dad, but he, uh, he came into our lives and we moved to Cambridge, Illinois. And I had the first three years of my life that was actually stable and uh, comfortable, you know. And uh, actually was involved in a youth group and uh, went to church and went to youth camp and knew that God had called me into the ministry. I, I felt it, I, I seen the vision of myself standing up in the crowd and uh, saying, God pulled me through all of this and uh, he can do it for you as well. Moved to California for a month and turned around and came back and it just shattered me. It was back to the life of, of craziness and uh, started using drugs again, started running, ended up in rehab three times. Um, ended up getting married at 18 years old, having two children um, and just living a life of, of total selfishness and craziness. Um, I always say to know me was to be hurt by me, physically, emotionally, anything you can imagine. Um, to love me was to be hurt. Then on June 15th of 2007, um, I lost the best friend and love of my life. My little brother was killed in Iraq um, by an IED. And it demolished me. He was my best friend. We were together every single day. The loss of my brother was immeasurable. And I went to, found myself uh, hanging around a motorcycle club. And if, at first, you know, as a hang around, it's, it's fun, it's exciting. Um, and then they asked me to prospect. And that's when it starts getting real. Uh, you do things you never thought you'd do. Uh, I lost a wife from it. Um, ended up getting my colors, my cut, uh, which is a vest. And uh, then it got even more real. I started doing things that I never thought I would do. Any criminal act you can think of, um, I did for them because I would never let a brother down again like I felt like I let my brother down. I had a long, a long battle uh, dealing with the things that I had done, the people that I'd harmed. But God's grace is great. It's an awesome, awesome thing. And uh, He has led me into a life of, of love and happiness, and, and I'm learning to be selfish with my relationship with Him and not selfish for myself. Um, I. Uh, He's given me a wife and, and two beautiful stepchildren, and uh, I love them very much. It's, it, they're amazing, and my life could never be the same. It never could be the same. His glory has, has brought me out of the depths in the pit, and uh, even when the devil tries to get me, um, I know my God is greater.